Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and after the initial harsh first impressions on the uh, Saber, I wanted to get back with you all with an updated, let's call it second impressions video now that we're up to 2.2D in the PTU. Now the Saber has seen some pretty significant updates, and overall the ship is flying a lot better than it was before, which is a very good thing, because the flight aspects was one of the two major gripes that I had with this ship. While on the initial release, the Sabre was very drifty, um, you know, like we've seen with a lot of first releases of flyable ships, uh, it now responds a lot better. Now, it still isn't as responsive as something like the Avenger, which is a little bit odd considering it's a lighter, um, but keep in mind thruster placement, I'm sure, has a lot to do with it. The Sabre is much more snappy now, and when you combine that with the legitimate boost and afterburners this ship has, you can actually get the thing to change vectors pretty quickly. And I've actually gotten to a point where I can use the drift that the ship has almost to kind of circle around another ship as you're passing by in combat, all while keeping your weapons facing forward to continue doing damage, and that's been pretty effective for me so far. Now, I still wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing some tweaks to the flight performance, um, whether that be for the positive or for the negative, uh, but based on the speed it has right now and the adequate agility, uh, it performs much more in line with what I think we all initially thought it would do. Basically, it's now starting to be more, well, let's put it this way, it's no longer really being outclassed by the Hornet when you're talking about maneuverability, which I think is a very important thing for the balance of the two ships. My other previous big gripe about the ship was with the shielding, and there were two factors that were causing issues. The first of which in the initial release of 2.2 was the Sabre only had one forward-facing shielding, and the other was how you ended up losing your engine performance with the engine's low message. Now, if you're wondering why I'm lumping the engine's low message into this category, that's because the stats didn't appear correct initially, and when the shields ended up taking damage, your ship had to divert way too much power to the shields, leaving your engines kind of stranded, especially if you were do like firing your weapons at the same time. Now, both of these issues appear to have been addressed, and now your engines remain at full power, and your shields are covering the entire ship. You've still got a pretty good recharge time on the shields, meaning they bounce back quickly, uh, but if, your ship, uh, if the shields on your ship go down, the hull isn't very durable. Based on the description and the intentions for this ship, though, I think that's a good balance and design decision to kind of keep in place, but we'll see how that balancing continues. As far as the weaponry is concerned, the default loadout is really pretty good, and if you rock four Panthers, it's even better. Now, equipping the Sabre with four size three ballistic weapons is actually borderline hilarious. In the video that you're going to be seeing in the background here, it's a loadout that has four tarantulas on it for this, from the Sabre. Uh, and it really only seems to take one to two full volleys to destroy the Vandal in swarm mode. Now when you're in a ship that's very maneuverable, fighting other ships that are very maneuverable, it's kind of hard to land the shots, but when you do, it just punches a hole through them. And granted, it's not a great anagram for real players when you're playing in Vandal Swarm and comparing that to sh uh, players in other more durable ships, but it's worth noting that the firepower is absolutely there and you get some versatility in how you want to, you know, kit this ship out. Um, you're really going to limit yourself with range when using these tarantulas, um, just since they don't really have a long range to the weapon, um, but you're more than capable of ending up closing the distance based on the speed and uh, you, basically you're still able to close that distance and do your damage. Um, there was one other thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, the other issue with the first iteration was this, this Sabre had this terrible reflection on the cockpit. Uh, and at this point, that appears to be gone, or it's at least toned down so much that I don't even notice it anymore. Overall, the changes to this ship have been really, really important. Um, they're noticeable, and they are sincerely appreciated. And while I was confident, like I mentioned before, that they would fix these issues, it's always good to have that confidence and faith rewarded by CIG showing that they know what they're doing with ship balancing and an ability to turn around and re make really quick changes when you consider this hasn't been out that long. The ship is in a much better place right now, and I'm interested to see what changes are going to continue to come in the balance of the ship. There's some cosmetic and game issues that are still happening, like spawning with a detached left wing, um, which is just new in this most uh, recent 2.2 uh, version, uh, as well as one that I think is going to take a little bit more work, and that's the fact that the ladder currently to get into the cockpit ends up expanding or extending through the front left, uh, what do you want to call it, the front left badger, um, and then kind of deploys down, and then you appear to kind of crawl through that weapon. 
Um, you know, I, I don't know how that's going to end up being addressed because when you look at the ship, there doesn't appear to be enough space between the gun and the hole to squeeze that ladder in. Um, but it's worth noting that the guns do move forward and backward when you're in the cockpit, so they may find a way to be able to retract a little bit more, leaving you that space so you can climb in. So that's going to be it for the update. Um, I'll continue to do these change updates as they come through. Uh, if you have any questions, though, please let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned for a whole lot more content. I'll have some for you soon. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.